Hey, good morning, everybody. This is the professor with Day Trading for Success. So I've got, uh, we're going to be trading, uh, the beta testing, the new open strategy again today. Uh, there's, gonna, there's been a few changes, but I'm going to go over the whole layout. Uh, I have I left a little extra time, started a little early here. So please read this disclaimer. I am not a licensed financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only with trading demonstration videos to help you learn some tricks and tips on how you might want to trade, day trade, and scalp along in your journey. So please read that. So this is the open strategy uh, layout. Some of you may have seen this before. I will make this available again today, um, along with the uh, scalpers indicator. And I think that's the only thing on here, the custom scripts that we have for free. So I'll make both of these available today. So um, basically, the open strategy is designed to be traded within the first 15 minutes in the open. Uh, of the open. That's what the back testing's done for. That doesn't mean you can't trade it longer if you're in the middle of a trend or something like that. I'll be trading a thousand shares of AMD today with a group of friends. And let me show you how we've got this laid out. So again, and I'll get into the support and resistance lines in more detail today. So basically, you take the close of yesterday, which was uh, yesterday, which was 176. Um, what's that day? No, 178.63. Hang on. Let me look at my clothesline here. Just make sure. 177.87 is the close of yesterday. I've got it marked already. I just want to make sure this is coming out right. Hang on. Because um, sometimes I get the day wrong. So it's supposed to be, yeah, that is the close. 177.88. Yeah, okay, I was just looking at the wrong number up there. Okay, so right here under close, at the right of my picture, watch that number, it says 177.87. That's where I marked the close of day here too, close of day. But you look at that candle, then you look at the ATR down there, $7.77 right down here. Again, follow that. You divide that in two. And you, you subtract it from the close, half of it from the close to get the ATR low, and the other half of it from the close to get the ATR high. And that is our, our range where we want to mark most of our profit taking levels in. So that's how you start. And then the next thing you do is you mark the pre-market. So you mark the close of day like you just saw me do there. You can make the lines any color you want or anything. And then you mark the ATR high and low. And then on the pre-market, you want to make sure you go from, um, let me just make sure I've got this. Yeah, here we go. So we want to make sure we go from like, uh, this is the pre-market here. So we want to go from 730. I got to make it a little tighter. We want to go from 730 right down here to 915 right over here. So we're going to go ahead and just expand the chart so we can't make a mistake here. You can see down there at the bottom, it says 729, 731. That's close enough. So 730, I'll drag it over to where you see 915 along the bottom there. Open it up. There we have our highs and lows in that area. As you can see, I picked out the low there, PM low, from that area right there. That is the lowest in that time frame, and that is the highest in that time frame. So that's how I get those two numbers. <clears throat> and then you want the pre-market average within there. So that's the high, that's the low, but we also want the average. So the reason that all these things are being marked out is that they become potential support and resistance or profit-taking levels once you get into the trade. Specifically, they're they don't really come into play because you're trying to trade outside of the pre-market high and the pre-market low. But if you're in the middle of the trade of a trade, and you you know you might want to use this center line here. Although I don't, you know, it's just it's basically just to give you an average of where we're at. So how do you get that? You take the pre-market high, and you subtract it from the pre-market low, and then it's gonna, you're going to get a, a number, and then you divide that number by two, and you subtract half of it to get it or add half of it to get it. So you're just trying to get between these two. So it's just a little math exercise. So rewind this and watch that again if that wasn't clear to you. That's how you get these three lines. This red jagged line, this green jagged line. That's the pre-market low and the pre-market high. You're looking for it to break those levels 
before. Now, these arrows and things, these are in my volume pro profile, which are set for intraday. All these, that red is the point of control. This is just to help me trade and to see the volume. And I have the scalpers indicator down here. So this really isn't as complicated as it, it looks. And I prefer to have these level marks out, marked out for me. This is the higher value of the volume profile telling me, hey, look to turn around and then the lower value telling me, hey, look to turn around. So depending on where they are when you trade, you know, they can come in very handy. And the point of control, because it's set for intraday, can literally move while you're trading and let you know a potential direction. It's only potential because it's, it's information that's already happened. Oops, I didn't want to do that. So that's how we got the, those pre-market and we got the ATR. We have about 10 minutes to trade, so I'm going to go into profit taking. So when we have this, just see where we're at right now. Okay, so here we are right now. So we're coming very close to the pre-market high. So when we start to trade, this is the open session in black, we need to break that before we go in. We will not go in on the first one minute. That's one of the criteria for the strategy. We wait for the second minute candle, which would be about in this plane, and we see if it's above, then we go. Now this may drop off before then, but I'm just looking at it, and it's looking like it's gonna be going up today. We don't know how long, but that's kind of how it's looking now. Now I do have other levels here, the 20 moving average, the nine moving average. Um, this is the uh, higher uh, part of the VWAP, and that's the lower part of the VWAP down here, and then there's the VWAP. So these are just things I use overall to see what direction it's going. I'm a real, I'm a scalper, but oh, let me move my chair up here. Sorry, guys. Um, but after talking about how I traded yesterday, I was using reverse again. I'm very into scalping. I have a specific style if you've watched my videos. So I'm trying to break into a new style for everybody. So I will not be reversing today unless I forget. I will just be getting out according to the strategy guidelines of this strategy. Get out and then go back in. Get out and go back in when the trade calls for it. So probably very few trades, maybe probably less than 10, maybe only five. I don't know because we're only trading over the first 15 minutes. So now I have enough time left to... So down here, I have a reduced one-minute chart. Now, you're going to want to mark your profit lines on your one-minute chart only five days back maximum. So what do I mean by profit lines? So I'm going back five days, and I'm looking on the chart, and I'm seeing where this, the, the price action hit a wall and turned around. Okay, so this is the ATR low. So you see how it hit right there and turned around? Hit here, and probably, since it's not right on it, I was trying to catch, I try to catch it, it's a little bit below it, I try to catch other levels, you know, where, where it was respected again. You can see how this one got respected again, and then I captured this one over here. I captured the bottom of that thing there. I captured the bottom of that. I didn't actually capture that for some reason. Oh, because I'm inside. Yeah, I'm inside the, the uh, no, I'm not. It, that's right here. I don't know why I didn't get it. I should get that right now, actually. <laughs> I'll do that right now. So basically, you just double-click a price action on there, open it up, and then I'll, I'll type in profit. There you go. I have this pre on red right now, uh, so I went ahead and marked that, too. So every once in a while, I'll miss one. And then as it breaks out here, you're marking the profit if you were going long. That Those are all if you're going short right so now you're marking these pivot points if they're going on once i get above the etr etr I pretty much stop i gave one um there but i didn't keep marking you could see i, I tapped it along here and then i and you could see it hits here this one hits here too so you're trying to get as many times as that stock turned around so you're giving yourself a lot of profit areas to take profit See, this one already was picked up by the pre-market here. Um, the Fibonacci has picked up some of these where you don't see. And then I pick up other ones here, profit. And then uh, here's another. I'm trying to find a mean center, see how that hit over here and here, even though it wasn't perfect right there. It hit over here too, so I called it there. And I, and I mark some of these above the ATR, but typically I don't. Profit there. That one hit here from here all the way over to here here where is it here here actually from way over that one hit again from way back that's that's the previous days back there so and then now we're on to today 
So that's basically how I mark those. And they might look like a spaghetti mess, but you're going to be really happy they're there to give you some sort of guidance when you're trading. Like, hey, it's coming up to where the stock turned around a lot. I, I wasn't sure if I should get out or not. Anyway, what, what is that saying? That's saying probably get out. Don't wait for it to pivot off of that and then keep going up. And you're going like, oh, it's going to turn around. If it pivots off a profit line, take your profit. In this case, don't reverse, just cover or sell depending on your position. So hopefully that was a little bit more clear about how these are set up. And that was that chart down there. This is the chart that I'm trading off of. Now the open strategy makes it big and bold and in my face. So um, now this will this scalpers indicator, which is free on this channel as well. So I'll, I'll give a link to this and the open um, setup. Bring this in first. If you don't have this one, the Million Dollar Margin Club for Swab, this is for Swab. I'm on now, not not TD Ameritrade. So bring this in first, and then it will populate into here. Um, and then I have uh, this is a five minute that I'll be watching. I won't be watching the 15 minute like you might see me for the RV strategy because the whole strategy is only 15 minutes. So I do want to watch a five minute, but I barely need to look at that right, just by happens stance if it has an engulfing pattern or something on two of the candles i might i might look at that but that's why it's pretty much out of the way over here and then the other one minute i opened was just to set up the daily down here minimize was just to set up here's where i'll be trading you know holding this right over ready to just go buy sell buy sell i won't be doing any partials any limit orders and i will be watching the level two a little bit because i do have a thousand shares so i'm expecting there will be some slippage you can see there's 2200 1900 um and there's a lot of hidden ones here. These are multiplied by 100. So sometimes, even though there's repetitive numbers here, it might it might slip down to there to get me filled, which is a whole 39 cents. And boom, you know, it's like you see three, six, eight, nine, not really filling my entire order. Now, um, it is Schwab's job and TD Ameritrade's and through Thinkorswim to give you 3.7 liquidity. So you, if if um, there's only, uh, you know, 400 shares. Like, say there's a three there. They're going to multiply this by three to fill this order. They're going to fill the rest. So that's what's so great about <laughs> trading with swap. So you don't get a lot of slippage on large. You don't get a lot of not fills on large cap. You do get some slippage. You know, it will, you know, down, down a couple numbers. That's why mostly why I want to look at this. If I'm about to get out, I try to get out as it's swinging on an up move. You know, like, let's say I'm selling. I, I want to try to get out when it's going up, uh, you know, it's starting to spin up uh, rather than down. And then I'll get less slippage, you know. Now, some might say that's counterintuitive because it's like, well, if it's going up, why are you getting out? It's like, well, I've already decided to get out. Now I'm waiting for the perfect time to get out for me. And often that will not work. Uh, but, you know, you try. So that's my greatest enemy today is slippage with a 1,000 shares. You, I'm, I want to have a pretty big... Um, a pretty big number uh, up here. Actually, this isn't even showing the number, so let's get that straightened out. Oh yeah, I forgot I already did a trade. So yeah, let me get this. That was a debacle of a pre-market trade. Seven, eight dollars minus too many shares, and uh, it was a, it was a stupid move. But anyway happened it's over i prefer not to discuss it but at least the number wasn't as bad it what what was bad was that was a much higher profit before i could actually get filled which is you know free uh, market on swab like i used to do street smart edge here it's it's just terrible it was just such a great trade i thought that i took it and i was way green for a second and then i just could not get out um so anyway <laughs> that's that but I am green and not red to start, which is great. So um, so look at that. It already broke through in pre-market and stopped at a profit at a previous line from before. So you can see how those are respected. I didn't tell you. I didn't show you how to set up the uh, – I don't have time. All right. It's the market's about to open. I did not show you how I set up the uh, – oh, yeah, maybe I did show you the FIB. Anyway, the FIB is always from left to right. It's um, – uh, set up on a five-day chart, uh, five-minute chart, 
And the ATR here is set for only two days, guys, not 14 days. Okay, so clearly it seems like it's going to be going up. I, I couldn't, uh, I can't take the opening trade. That is the rule. So I'm going to wait because this could flush way down here. Oh, my God, that's painful, right? Now, there is a strategy that's coming out that's going to be just trade the one-minute candle based on catalyst news and a bunch of other things. I saw some of that. That looks fun. That looks interesting to trade. You just have to be fast, you know. Uh, but I love that kind of, uh, of risk and fast. But we're trying to, on day trading for success here, we're trying to ha carve out a way for you guys to make, you know, $100, $200, $300 a day. I'm getting ready to get in here as soon as I'm allowed to get in. I'm hoping it's going to give me a dip so I can get in on a dip. And that is now. What did I get that at? 45 Wow. I'm going to take profit. At, I'm going to take profit, right? God, did you see that slip? Oh, my God. That was a lot of slip. That was $230. All right. So I thought that could be a problem. So I took it at the profit, and I think it dipped down right when I hit it. So now I'd like to see it break this before I get back in. And if it's going to get, you know, and I'm going to trade it like you're supposed to trade it, which is, okay, well, it's not, it, wow, well, okay, there it goes. So I'm glad I took my profit when I did. So that's, uh, now, um, the way this strategy works is, uh, I mean, we're not below this yet. So theoretically, I can, I can trade here if it, it um, but it's going down. So this is designed for you to trade long not not capture the retracement so what i'm going to do today is just despite how i think i can make more money okay despite it's painful uh, I, I could have captured that for sure going down and still be riding it to this moment probably would have i probably would have reversed right here in anticipation and taken a hit and then got back in now you guys have seen me trade but now look what's going on so now it's going all the way down here so now uh if if it breaks that then i can go back in again so that's what we're looking to do. It has to break this level, which is at um, 178.64. So we're still we're still too high. And then I would sell, but it's not. So you're not going to see huge profits, even with a thousand shares. And I probably would have a lot less slippage if I have 500 shares. But I think it'd probably only be like 50 bucks here or something. So there's different ways to look at this. You deal with the slippage, but you get the higher share size and get you more money. Um, but this is not going to be, this is not like supposed to make you $5,000. Really, it's not even supposed to make you $1,000 at the open, right? Unless you just get the perfect setup. Like I know I did it yesterday. I think I did more than that. I can't remember. But I I traded it um illegally against the strategy i traded the the moves up and down you know I, at least i went i went with a retracement okay hang on i went with the retracement once there's not going to be a lot of times to, to do this so i want to make sure i capture what i can capture according to the strategy really needs to solidly break this i guess it tapped below it i did not actually see that tap below that that's uh on the price anyway the candle did but it didn't look like it did it on the price let me get a closer look at this Easier to trade, too. So you look at the price action. That's 76. So we're looking to get down here 60, 65, is it? 67, 65. So it's right there. It's right there. Mm. I'll see. It would have it done me some damage if I got in too soon there. So uh, I'm, I needed to break that pre-market low. Wow. Look at that. This is this is really hard to trade. If you tried to get this, you could have got you could have lost money here. And this is one of the reasons the strategy is specifically designed to only trade a certain way, so it's safer to make this money. Um, so it, it could seem like alien speak right now, you know. But if you've been following along with me and how important pivot points are. Um, it's not. I mean, these are, and now everybody's back testing these. Like we're talking, like seventy-four people. I think it was that were back testing on different stocks um, every every morning to see how it's playing. And everybody's con converging and talking about what happened and showing all their charts. And so it's kind of fun to do that. Um, they're they're 
losing money they would normally make. They're all good traders. Uh, maybe maybe a couple aren't that good. I won't say their names. <laughs> but most of them are very good traders in the Million Dollar Margin Club and the other people that are back testing this for the book. Um, wow. Is it going to go through again? Because I will take that. It's going back up. We're looking for it to break 179.56. And then we can go long again. Just tapped it, right? How well that is respected. It literally just tapped it and turned around. Even when I press market to get in, I could be 20 cents out of my position. That's why it's better to like actually have it really break it before I get in, like by 20 cents, 10, 20 cents maybe. Because I don't want to just cut, get caught in a little weird thing. Nope. Okay, it's going back down. Here we go down, down again. Let's see if it break that pre-market. Going down. That's it. I got it. What did I get it at? 59. God, I wish I would have got it higher than that. Okay, so now I'm looking to cover. I'm looking to cover. I, I passed the... I'm going to take that profit. 388. Okay. Good thing, too, that I did that. <laughs> Some guys... Uh, so I am out again now. So, you know, we carved this out. The slippage was, was bad again there, but it wasn't too bad. So now, theoretically, if it breaks this solidly, I play this as a potential entry now. This profit. It is not giving me confidence, though, that it's going to continue to go down. Okay, there it goes. Can we get, can we get something there? Man, I wish I would have got it already. No, now it's going up. Wow, that wasn't an I would have slipped. Anything I grabbed there would have slipped right away. It could have been a loss. Still might be, but here it goes again. That time it went down to 20 cents, 18 cents. See, I, I could have caught it if I got it up there. Yeah, this is not definitive, guys. New low. Oh, man. I should have grabbed it. Now I'm I'm uh, I'm unsure about the way this is moving. I mean, it's steady across on the scalpers indicator, not definitive. I'd like to see a big move. I'd really like to see it break the close of day. Then I would feel more comfortable going for this profit, because this is this is a little seems a little unsure. So again, I feel like I need to apologize almost for the lack of entertainment. The way I normally trade, I never get out of position. If you're new here, I just I'm always in a position one way or the other. I'm never just waiting like this, and I prefer it that way. I prefer how I put it to manage my bad positions, take profit, bank it, manage your bad positions. I can't go in on this move if I follow the strategy. I can't go in on the retrace because it's not theoretically safe until you break these levels. That's what's being back tested. Nobody's back testing in here, so you could just revert to your scalping skills and take it and that's what I did yesterday and it worked but unless you're really sure of yourself and you really want a foolproof strategy well nothing's foolproof obviously but we're trying to make it the, the biggest problem with strategies right is people don't follow them they don't follow their own day trading plan they don't follow their own max losses per trade or max loss for the day they just don't have the patience and to wait for the setup and then so so they're just going to take a trade and like because it's fun because it's gambling it's rolling the dice. Listen to to uh, Mark Douglas in his book Trade in the Zone. I mean he I have a link for it here. He talks about this um, and how people just and, and I'm I'm very guilty of that particularly in my earlier career where I just thought I could I could always win just because you know whatever. We're taught in life certain parameters that w without restrictions and we can manipulate the data, so to speak. We can manipulate the people around us. We can, if you're in sales, you can manipulate. Even if you're a teacher, like I was for years, you can kind of manipulate your students to make you see what you're trying to say. So everybody has a way of, not manipulation in a bad way, but everybody has a way of manipulating what their environment in some way, so it's, it's best for them. But on the stock market, you can't do that. So you have to kind of unlearn that and just completely think on probability 
an outcome. And that's it. What are the probabilities? So now what Mark Douglas says and what many other traders say, he's not my god, but I like him, but uh, is uh, he's passed, unfortunately, now, is that you just you're trying to find um, an edge like a little bit, a little bit more of the probability in your favor. Um, so I'm just sitting here with no trade because this is not a viable trade. So I'm waiting for a setup. And I know you guys don't see me do that. Like, I, I swear I'm like grinding my teeth. So I'm having to relearn that this is the way I used to trade. I waited for setup. I went through the phase where I waited for the perfect set, setup for several years. I did very well. Um, and, uh, you know, it's sort of analysis paralysis in a way where you're when you wait so long. But man, when you wait for the perfect setup, I, I did a trade like this a couple of days ago where I just saw I was done trading. And I was talking to some people and I was looking at my screen. I, you know, I'm always my screens up. And uh, the, a setup just came before me that was so choice. I was I was done. And I'm like, oh, my God. So it was it was just the way that the, the uh, it was an abandoned baby uh, candlestick pattern on on uh, AMD. And I just had it up as we were sort of back testing what we'd already done. And uh, I dropped in 2000 shares and it went up like a dollar and just, you know, in the one minute candle. And I got an extra. Well, it slipped, but I got like sixteen hundred bucks and it was it was a perfect setup. It was in alignment with the five minute. The volume was going up, you know, as it, you know, all the things you look for. Um, we were we were banking off a of Fib, Fibonacci and support level uh, with an abandoned baby move upward. It was like, my God, show me the money. <laughs> so I took it. So but wait, my point was, is that's the safest way to trade. If you're trying to build your account, wait for the perfect setup. Don't try to scalp out every little cent. It's a different kind of trading. It's very exciting. It can also ruin you. So you have to be careful. It can, it can definitely ruin you. Um, so, uh, yeah, I didn't. I should have probably taken this as I was talking. So I'm almost at the at time here. So let me just, uh, darn it, guys. Sorry, I was talking. I, I got into uh, tutelage. I'm going to buy there, banking off of that. I'll take that. Okay. So um, when once I broke through here, you know, should I bend my? Yeah. Okay. So I'm not. I wasn't supposed to do that. I wasn't supposed to do what I just did. Make that money. <laughs> I was supposed to only go short below the uh, pre-market low. So obviously we've got to work out. This is beta testing, but I did make $468. Definitely not, uh, you know, exciting. But it, the strategy did work based on what it said to do. So let's let's recap then what just happened besides my pontification in the middle of that. But um, – so I went in on the second candle here, somewhere here, as per the strategy, which means if it's above the pre-market high, after the first candle is shaken out all the market orders, all the people taking profit or you know, deciding to go in based on the news, wait for all this to wash out. Not all the markets open exactly. Sometimes there's 10 seconds you lose here before everything starts to reconcile. So it's really not real smart to write a read a strategy with the first candle. Um, the second candle definitively going up at that time. That's before this was red here. And I jumped in here and I had a chance or somewhere in this area. I had a chance because there's where it closed, actually. So I think I jumped in like right here. And then um, as it kind of dipped, I got in right at really, I think it was like 930, you know, two and 10 seconds or something. And then I wrote it up to that profit and I immediately sold. And I remember I had a big slip slippage here. But I got some money there. And then it went down. And then now it's against, you know, you you could, I could have scalped this down, but it's against the strategy. Wait for the right setup. So it broke back through. And I'm waiting for it to break here. It didn't break 
enough for me to really jump in, especially with the slippages we talked about with this higher share size. And then um, now we're waiting again, and we're waiting again. And I think, oh, here it was. So here was the pre-market low. So I got in, and I took this trade, and, I, and it stopped right there. And then I should have taken this off of this, and I probably would have got another a uh, couple hundred bucks or 150 or 200. That's a pretty big trade there if I had caught that. And I was talking when this happened because it happened twice. So this was definitely when I should have grabbed it. So that was my mistake. And I would have got from like 178.30 down to where it hit that to 177.83. So I would have gotten like, or 86, I would have gotten like 14, 44. I would have gotten $440. This would have been almost double if I wasn't talking my butt off to you guys and talking about the perfect setup <laughs> but anyway so that should have happened and this in the strategy was flawless had that happened and you just got out and instead what i did realizing that i missed that thinking hey let me get some of that money i went against the strategy and went up but i did luckily make like a hundred bucks uh and that's pretty much what happened that's the recap of what happened but basically you don't have to be a professional trader if you followed that strategy and did exactly when it said to get out and you saw where I marked all these, go back and watch the video. You know, so, so they're not, you know, you may think, how would I know if that line wasn't right there? Would I have gotten out? No, I would have thought it was going to keep going or I, I would have had nothing to back me up. So I just took a quick profit right there because I knew this was a spot where it turns around. Now I might've guessed because it turned around right there. I might've marked that and said, Hey, Hey, get out now. But there's a lot of people that just take these short one minute, five minute, 10 minutes into the market, take the short directional changes. They all have their own little strategies to do it. And they walk away with 100, 200, 500 every single day, then five days a week. Obviously, let's, let's count a losing day in there. But you're going you're gonna to come away with $1,500, $2,000 a week with a st simple strategy like this that might not seem simple when you look at it, but you saw how I marked it out. And then keep watching these videos because I'll keep, we're going to keep, I'm sorry it's not as exciting as making $25,000 in, in 30 minutes, but um, those those videos are on there too. <laughs> so that's the RV strategy. And I forgot, I didn't even promote the books, but I have links to the day trading series one, two, and three, which are really the best selling books. If you're starting day trading, you need those books. Um, and then Trading in the Zone, and then Best Loser Wins. Those are the five books. They're all on there. That's all I'll say today. But um, this doesn't have a strategy out yet. And the very reason this is all being beta tested, it's not, there's not a book out for it yet. So everybody, all these people are beta testing. And these other professional traders that aren't even in the group are being interviewed and talked to about what is their strategy. And then they're all being combined together because there's not really anything out there I mean, most of the books are promoting their own channel or promoting buying their courses. Or buy, the Million Dollar Margin Club doesn't do any of that. I don't sell any courses. On Day Trading for Success, we don't sell any courses. Everything is free. Um, so you just we just want you to watch. We want you to watch and subscribe. That's what we want. So there is something there. There is some monetization there. But it's, uh, it's mostly just paying it forward. I have a, a great time trading. So as long as I make my... Uh, what I need to make, you know, which is not really what I need to make, but as long as I make what I want to make, um, every, uh, uh, look at this now, huh? This is about to break again. Am I outside the 15 minutes? Yeah, I am. This would be where you would go in again, right here. So, um, let's see if it breaks it. Cause boy, is that, it's almost three white soldiers there, but it's four, um, See what you can see these reversal trends here dragonfly, inverted hammer, doji all said it was about to go up and it went up just like they said based off the close of day thing. Now it's off of the PM average in the center and it's about, about to break this. I'm going to call it, I'm going to call you right to call that this will go up. Uh, I believe this is so strong right now. Look at the steadiness of this in the scalpers indicator. So should I take a trade? I'm going to take a trade because I stopped the strategy. <laughs> I can't help it. Go up, go. Oh, I had 126 bucks for a split second there. I'm going to go up higher. I'll take that. So there we go. Now, that was in the strategy. I was just outside the 15 minutes. I did not wait for this. I just looked at the money and said, I'll take that. 
I'll take that. Now, the strategy says, wait, and look, I would have had a lot more money. So there we go. There we go. I felt like guilty for trading after the 15 minutes, but so I'm only human, guys. You know, that was a great setup. But, you know, so you saw that happen. And, you know, that was right after the pre-market. It was strong. And uh, this is where you should have turned around for sure. But there's nothing wrong with turning around early if you want to. Green is green. If you feel like, I, I, I just want to take the money, then you go with what you want to do, you know. But here was the, was the perfect profit spot. So that was another, uh, say, 179.90 up to, yeah, that was another almost 20 cents. And now look at it go. So you could have taken it there. You could have what what the strategy says to do is either t if it's if it's oh my god, look at it go, huh? This is painful. I should be in this move. Um, wow. So I'd be over. Well, oh my god, look at it go. Feeling a little bit of FOMO here, but that's okay. All right, guys, I will be trading later today anyway, and um, I'll put all this stuff, like I said, on here, and uh, I'm going to go lick my wounds. Hey, $678, right? Okay, remember to subscribe and give a thumbs up. We appreciate you watching. Be careful out there trading a sim first. You know, stay green, guys. We'll talk to you soon.